Dumbo, you're just getting chewed by the vet. The mosquitoes are absolutely slaughtering me. The amount of mosquitoes out tonight. Crazy stuff. So we're just finding out if that big bacterial infection might be parasitic. So that was an antibacterial, was it? Yeah. What do you give his chance of survival? Um, actually, pretty good, to be honest. Like, these gills are really, like, beautiful and red. Um, it's really good. Yeah. And I think he's quick, like, I guess, administering antibiotics quickly. As long as there's no parasite in the lying, I actually find Clay feeling really well. It's, it's deep, but it's small as well. Yeah, right. So, actually, it's pretty good, I would say. And so you think that may have happened just in what period of time? Uh, my guess would be in three days. Three days. Yeah, because it's still quite fresh. Three days. or doing it in the food would probably be better because all of the antibiotics that really work against skin stuff is going to destroy the filter again. Oh, that's not fun. No. <laughs> yeah, so if they have flukes, does that mean that you can dose praziconal at the same time as the parasites? Yeah. Yes. Then people will know to give you a call. Because I certainly saw the wigglies before. There you go. Is that recorded or something? No. But I have, I have some, like, if you want to... Oh, generic footage? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why not? Because I did better than you. Yeah, that is great. It's hard to get it. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to get it. Yeah, it's hard to get it. Yeah, it's hard to get it. Yeah, it's hard to So with this pond, the filter has clogged up and turned off on a very hot day in summer. We don't know how long the filter was off for, but the fish um, started dying and were very, very, very stressed. So we did a 50% water change. We've improved the water quality drastically and we've had the vet here doing microscope checks on the fish and um, one of the surviving fish has a very bad bacterial in infection um, and we have detected some parasites and some flukes via the microscope so now that that has been diagnosed we're able to treat this water for these issues and then we come back and um, re-swab and reassess, hoping that that cures it. Okay so we're going to add some praziconsal and some formalin to treat the gill flukes that these fish have. It'll be two doses a week apart and um, that should work within the sort of next week to get them feeling better. 
Pacific Bontal, it tastes quite bitter, so they often don't really want to eat very much for a couple of days, and that's totally normal with this medicine. And are you saying it tastes bitter from your experience trying to taste it? I have tasted it, unfortunately. <laughs> We just want to make sure that it gets mixed around really well. Um, we don't really want any spots of concentrated medication, so we're putting it under the fountain and we've pre-diluted it as well. So for anybody that's preferably in Sydney, but um, if you get any sorts of issues like this with your fish, it really is beyond the scope of a aquarium or an aquarist. There are situations where you're really better off actually calling a vet. So I often like seeing an, an aquarist like going to the chemist, but sometimes you just need better and more specific advice than the chemist can give so you really need to go and see a doctor. So with your fish, if you do have any of these issues, it's really worth finding out um, whether a fish vet is available in your area. And if you're in Sydney, then you're very lucky because we have a great fish vet available to us and get home calls like this, even late at night on a Friday night. We've got nothing better to do on a Friday night, do we? No, nothing better. And then we can um, get proper veterinary advice and we can have prescribed proper veterinary medication based on diagnostics as opposed to us in the aquarium industry we just look at things and we think maybe that looks a bit like that and we try a off-the-shelf medication which may or may not ever work so there's way more effective ways of going about it and it's definitely if you've got a fair bit of money's worth of stuff the little investment that you're gonna to make to get an actual professional who's actually gonna diagnose a problem and actually be able to treat it is really worth it and, and it means you are doing the best you can for your animals. You're not just throwing mud at a wall and hoping it stick, which is sort of what we do in the aquarium industry.